the tunnels. We're still looking at 25 to 30 minutes from the inbound George, both levels. Outbound 25 to 30 from the Cross Bronx. East side, we're seeing delays. Northbound Harlem River Drive from the 150s up to the bridge. And inbound at the Lincoln, it's 10 to 15. Same with the inbound Holland. And here's what we see on the Island Big 3. Both ways, Southern State, there is construction between Eagle Avenue and Hempstead Avenue. And also, we're seeing the slowdowns at the Wonka. That's uh, road work closing up at least two lanes. And it needs just bumper to bumper, hardly moving. I hate that, too. And we're looking at the Northern State and the LIE. They're moving a lot better than the Southern State, that's for sure. I'm Jody Vail. Our next report's at 1231 on 1010 Wind. And so heat and humidity for your weekend. Live we go to AccuWeather meteorologist Kerry Schwindenhammer. That's right. Heat and humidity certainly with us over the next several days. We may get a brief break in the heat tomorrow, but the temperature still gets up to 87. Real feels in the mid-90s. There could be a thunderstorm around over the next several days as well, bringing some brief relief. But I'll tell you what, that humidity is going to be very noticeable, and uh, uh, that's going to be with us probably at least into the middle part of the following week. Back to you. Thank you, Kerry. A 19-year-old has been shot when a robber tried to steal his backpack. Details for Newsline from Bath Beach and our Sam Liebman. One neighbor on the Bensonhurst Street where 19-year-old Derek Chen lived saying he was the family's only child. Now gone. Shot killed in a struggle to get his backpack back from his alleged killer at the BJ's on Shore Parkway. Employee Rodney Teal heard the fight. I heard uh, a couple gunshots went off. I think it was all you, a couple. You guys might have got into it. Police say it started in the garage elevator of the store. Ken shot in the shoulder and face. He was pronounced dead at NYU Langone, Brooklyn, upsetting to Bensonhurst resident Elizabeth Chan. It's in our community. It's a person the same age as my daughter. And, you know, we, we should do something about it. The suspect running, but police arrested him before he could leave the property. The gun also recovered. Samantha Leapman pinned him wins in Bath Beach. A bus with migrants from Texas has arrived at the Port Authority. Our Juliet Papa is there live. Juliet. Yes, they pulled in at 6.30 in the morning here after an 18-hour journey. Texas Governor Abbott directing them here as New York is a sanctuary city, and he says his uh, homeless services and shelters are on the brink. Uh, Mayor spokesman Fabian Levy called uh, using people as political pawns disgusting, his word, and the Legal Aid Society condemned what he called shameless exploitation. Now, the city is responsible for intake, and they must find housing facilities. Meantime, New York Attorney General Tish James uh, was asked about this at an unrelated news conference, and she said it's not about the politics, it's about the people, and if they seek asylum, that process should be afforded to them. So we have Papa 1010 Wins reporting live from the Port Authority. Wednesday time, 1224. Down in Gallup, New Mexico, an SUV plows through a parade. About 20 minutes into the Gallup Intertribal Ceremonial Centennial. A full-sized SUV sped onto the parade route, sending adults and children scrambling to get out of the way. Several people were hurt, including two police officers. The vehicle turned onto a side street and hit a squad car before the driver and two passengers were taken out and arrested. Jim Ryan, ABC News. And back here at home in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx, the search is on for a suspect who smashed through the front window of a McDonald's on Bruckner Boulevard overnight. The driver appears to have lost control on the off-ramp from the Major Deegan Expressway, moving down an enter sign before striking that building. The driver then fled the scene. Well, we have sunshine again, and that real feel at 92 degrees. Live AccuWeather details are coming up at the bottom of the hour, but at 1226, time for Bloomberg Money Watch, sponsored by Turo University's New York School of Career and Applied Studies, NYSCAD, and here's Andrew O'Day. With our slowing economy, the job market has been the little engine that could, Bridget. Last month, that engine roared. U.S. employers added 528,000 jobs to payrolls. That's more than twice economists' forecasts as unemployment slipped to match a 50-year low of 3.5%. The tempers worries about a prolonged economic downturn, but it also tempers enthusiasm on Wall Street because it makes the case for stronger measures against inflation, especially more interest rate hikes. The stocks right now are lower, now losing 82. NASDAQ down 118. S&P 500 down 26. 
Amazon looking to suck up another business, announcing a deal to buy iRobot, the maker of the Roomba vacuum, for one and two-thirds billion dollars. Amazon has been looking for ways to connect its Alexa voice software to more devices used around the home. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. I'm Andrew O'Day for 1010 Win. Ready to earn the college degree that will put you one step closer to your career dream? There's a program for everybody at Toro University's Nice Jazz. Six convenient locations throughout the city. Evening, weekends, and online classes, plus financial aid and scholarships. They're ready to help you get enrolled this summer or this fall. Visit them online at nyscas.touro.edu. That's nyscas.touro.edu. R-O and now this message, Rafelson Levine Law providing accident victims hope. For a free consult, visit rllawyers.com today. 65 Americans a day die by gun suicide. Store your gun securely. Locked, unloaded, and away from ammunition. Help stop suicide. Learn more at infamilyfire.org. Brought to you by Brady and the Ad Council. Do you have bad credit but need a new car? Call Credit Solutions, a division of Hudson Hyundai. It's easy to apply right over the phone. Call 800-951-4221. Hudson Hyundai has over 425 vehicles available. Stop hunting and start driving a new Hyundai today. Tier 1 customers can drive a new Hyundai Tucson, Santa Fe, Palisade, or even the all-new fully electric Ionic 5 with only $68 down. That's just $68 down on over 425 cars, trucks, and SUVs available. Call 1-800-951-4221. That's 800-951-4221. And all new Hyundais come with Hyundai Assurance, an America's best 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Call Hudson Hyundai in Jersey City for a pre-approval. 800-951-4221. That's 800-951-4221. Or HudsonHyundai.com. Payments will vary. Credits to vary. Effects approval. See dealer for details. And paid for by the Victims Justice Group. Attention military personnel, families, and civilians who were stationed or worked in Camp Lejeune from 1953 to 1987. If you or a loved one lived, served, or worked in Camp Lejeune, then you must listen to this message as you may be entitled to significant cash compensation. The U.S. Senate recently passed a bill that will allow all those who lived or worked in Camp Lejeune in North Carolina for at least 30 days to seek justice for injuries caused by toxic water. If you or a loved one suffered injuries associated with the toxic water, Water found at Camp Lejeune, including cancer, multiple myeloma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Parkinson's disease, adult leukemia, or aplastic anemia, then call us today for your free consultation. 800-291-4167. Don't wait. Let our experienced attorneys fight to get you the compensation you deserve, and you pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. 800-291-4167. Call 800-291-4167. That's 800-291-4167. You're listening to Newsline with Bridget Quinn on 1010 Wins. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief. Nervive contains B-complex vitamins and alpha-lipoic acid to relieve nerve aches, weakness, and discomfort. Learn more at NerviveHealth.com. Good afternoon, I'm Bridget Quinn. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is responding to China's retaliation over her visit to Taiwan. And they try to keep Taiwan from visiting or participating in other places. But they will not isolate Taiwan by preventing us to travel there. Pelosi made the comment in Tokyo, the last stop on her Asia tour, which included the stop in Taiwan. China said today that it's canceling or suspending dialogue with the U.S. on issues from climate change to military relations and anti-drug efforts in retaliation for Pelosi's visit. China is also holding threatening military exercises in six zones off Taiwan's coast. I'm Donna Water. Time 1231. Let's get to you where you need to go on a Friday afternoon with traffic and transit. Happy Friday, Greg Wright. Well, happy Friday, Bridget. Odds are construction's about to be the bane of your existence. Staten Island Expressway, you're getting business either way. East end over to Victory Boulevard, they've got the left lane shut. That's going to back you up nearly to the Gothos. And don't you laugh if you're going to westbound, because on the westbound Staten Island Expressway over at Bradley Avenue, right lane work is why it's all crawling from Highland Boulevard. Bell Parkway, east end, right lane work getting over to the 
rail yard before Shell Road that's going to load you up from the Verrazano westbound side of the belt coming down towards Flatbush Avenue. You've also got the repair crews out there blocking the lane and making a mess back towards Pennsylvania Avenue. B3, you at least know this going in. you got the mess on either way to the Brooklyn Bridge in the long-term pattern, but then eastbound B3 across from McGinnis Boulevard across the Kosciuszko Bridge because on that eastbound Long Island Expressway lower level, once you get there, you got to deal with the right lane construction, and that's what's making a mess back to Brooklyn. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Inbound George, 30 to 40, up 30, down. Nothing easy out south on Deegan. It is awful from the west 230s. North that west side, easy. Yes, Lincoln Tunnel is about 10 either way, and for now, so is the Holland. Traffic is sponsored by Plaza Jewish Community Chapel. I'm Greg Rice on 1010 Winds. We at Plaza Jewish Community Chapel would like to remind you that candle lighting is at 749 this evening. Good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom. Law to AccuWeather meteorologist Kerry Schwindenhammer. We have a heat advisory in effect right now that will go right through the afternoon into the evening for real field temperatures that could be up around 100. It will be hot and humid, of course, this afternoon despite the cloud cover. A thunderstorm or two that could bring a downpour and maybe some gusty winds later this afternoon into the evening behind 90. And very warm and sticky later on tonight, low 76. Not quite as hot tomorrow, but still very humid. Limited sun, a thunderstorm on occasion, the high 87. And the heat and humidity stay with us Sunday and Monday. Part sunshine, a sort of thunderstorm in spots, especially in the afternoon, the high both days, not far from 90. And now the allergy alert forecast, sponsored by ENT and Allergy Associates. Go to your same-day appointment online today. Today's outlook is moderate, with grasses and kinopods, the predominant pollens. 82 with limited sun right now, humidity 64%, the wind southwest at 6 miles an hour. 82 headed up to 90 in Midtown. I'm Kerry Schwindedhammer on New York's weather station, 10 Thank you, Kerry. If you don't usually associate libraries with dancing, you would be wrong. That's because this weekend the New York Public Library is hosting Dance Party NYC. And joining us live on 1010 Winds Newsline is Aiden Flax Clark, the Public Library's Associate Director of Public Programs and the Creator Coordinator of the Dance Party this weekend. How did you come up with this? You know, I was just um, dreaming of an idea where we could all get together and do something joyful and something that most everyone loves, and dance and music seemed like the best idea. I think it's a great idea. I hope it's air-conditioned. <laughs> you have about 80 <laughs> venues. Where are they? They're in all five boroughs. We're all over the city. Um, we're in libraries, of course, in the New York Public Library, Brooklyn Public Library, Queens Public Library. We're in museums and cultural organizations and community spaces, open streets, public plazas. We're, we're everywhere, Bridget. So h how does it work? You go into a library and there's a, a little mini disco set up? Yeah, you know, the fun thing is is that it's going to be different in every space. So what I would recommend people do is go to nypl.org slash dancepartynyc. And when you go there, you can find a map of everything that's happening. And you can find something that's nearest to you and maybe that's at the best time or that appeals to what kind of music you love. So there's going to be silent discos in some libraries. There's going to be dance parties and others that are loud. There's going to be um, some dance classes. It's, you know, we're trying to represent the breadth and variety that makes this city so amazing with small and all of these different dance party options. Hey, wait, wait a second. A silent disco? Yeah, yeah. I, How I does know, that work? work? Well, you get a playlist, um, you play the song from it, I believe, at the top, and uh, you get a pair of headphones and you can listen and dance, you know, all on your own, so that people reading can still keep reading, you know? Oh, okay. That's a great idea. Now, this yeah. is the thing I think I love the most about this. You guys came up with your own Dance Party NYC playlist for this, and uh, you have some, some great artists. We played Gaga a moment ago, and I guess some librarians like to uh, rock out to the Ramones, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we of course have an amazing library by Lincoln Center, the Library for the Performing Arts. And shout out to Daniel Cordovez, who curated this playlist. She's in the Music and Recorded Sound Division. And she just went through and picked all of this amazing danceable music that came out of the city. Including some very New York City appropriate music, too. Yeah, Can you name that artist? You know, I am embarrassed to say I can't remember. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able Don't to either. Spot. Odyssey, Odyssey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, we radio people. Uh, listen, this sounds like so much fun. And before we go, why don't you give that website one more time where people can find a uh, dance party near them? 
absolutely. It's nypl.org slash dance party nyc. We're up to 90 locations, so you got a lot of choices. Oh, 